Turning now to the weather, meteorologist Jeff Ray joining us now with a look at uh, how the rest of the week is going to look like, and uh, we're expecting some rain. Yeah, we're going to we're going to have yeah. a big rain event come Wednesday. But let me bring you up to date on what's going on right now. Satellite radar review around North Texas, day three here of the three-day holiday of good weather. Yeah, no thunderstorms around here. Skies have been cleared out nicely here in the overnight. They're going to return in the overnight hours, I should say. There's active weather going on in Nebraska and on the Colorado front range. You see the severe thunderstorm watches there. There is a tornado outbreak going on across the Ohio Valley. Top of the show, we were telling you about 94 confirmed tornadoes so far this three-day weekend. I should say that's a preliminary number, but there is a tornado outbreak really going Going on just outside of Columbus. They have a tornado emergency in, da in Dayton right now, and you can see the track of this possible tornado just north of the city near the 70 75 exchange. There's also another one they think is on the ground just to the north of that, and the warnings are issued. So, a lot of active weather still going on here before the holiday is done up in the Ohio Valley. But in Fort Worth, it's 82 degrees. It's been a breezy day, and we still have a pretty brisk wind out of the southeast. Got up to 89 today. That's six days in a row at DFW. Either 89 or 90 degrees, the warmest stretch of weather we've had so far this year. Water vapor loop. I wanted to show you this. This is an indication of how much moisture is in the air. And look at all the dry air over North Texas. That's why we didn't have any thunderstorms today. But do you see this swirl going on right here? This is our next weather maker. It's going to be here Wednesday in the Central Plains, at least. It's going to drag a cold front through here. So we go to a 20% chance of an afternoon or midday shower thunderstorm tomorrow. To an 80% chance of rain and thunderstorms Wednesday and Wednesday night. So we have a big weather event in store for us. We get to the midweek. I'll stop it here at 7 a.m. Wednesday morning. Strong thunderstorms from the overnight along the dry line could be rolling into our western counties in the morning. If we get a lot of shower activity, that will help us kind of alleviate the severe weather risk. But as we go into the midday, you can see how the rain starts to pick up and a few embedded thunderstorms. We'll have to keep an eye on these thunderstorms. Storms that develop well ahead of this front. And as the front slowly moves through, just a cluster of thunderstorms start to develop as we cross the afternoon and get into the evening hours. So, a good chance you'll be dealing with some strong thunderstorms and some rain during the evening commute on Wednesday. And the heavy rain threat will continue Wednesday night. And this is Thursday morning. We still have some thunderstorms and rain around, but it starts to try to clear out as we get into later the day Thursday with behind that front. Now, there is a slight risk of severe weather on Wednesday. I think the biggest threat will be damaging winds and large hail, but certainly flash flooding, giving the big rains we've had already here in May. And there is a low tornado threat for those thunderstorms that develop ahead of that front. Rainfall potential, we're talking about two to three inches of rain in some areas. It's already been the third wettest May in 20 years. This looks like a big rain in store for us on Wednesday, Wednesday night. That's at 80%. And then after that, we're talking about scattered afternoon thunderstorms. Of course, June starts on Saturday. That's the meteorological start of summer.